Long day of work, got you all crooked? Go home and hit the sauce. Hillbilly's applesauce. That shit'll straighten you out. Hey, how we doing everybody? G-Man, with your hillbilly applesauce recipe. Everybody pay attention, this shit's pretty fucking easy to make. Ain't gonna take you nothing to do it, so follow along, get this shit ahead of time. Make sure you're all set and you'll have no problem. Before you know it, you'll be hitting the sauce and feeling good. This is how we do it. We're gonna start with a gallon of apple juice. And just dump that shit right in the stock pot. You're gonna wanna save these bottles for later, cause you can dump your shit right back in them. And throw them away when you're done. You always got something to bottle it in, so save your empty bottles. Next thing you're going to want some good apple cider. This is Rudy's blend, but you know, everyone's probably got their local stuff they love the best. So use whatever you want. Don't get caught up in the fucking brand name of it, because it ain't going to really much matter none. And again, that's one gallon each. gallon of apple juice and a gallon of apple cider. Get that in there, turn your pot right on, because you're going to want to bring this to a boil. And a good rapid boil, too. And after that, we're going to put in the dark brown sugar. And I put in a whole fucking pack. Some people think it's a little bit too sweet, and you can knock it down a little bit. It's like any other recipe. You can tweak it all you want. In fucking brain surgery, you know. I'm gonna dump that whole fucking thing right in there. Then get into your cinnamon sticks. What I found to be pretty good is six of them. I put in eight before, it seemed a little heavy. Put in four, it seemed a little light, so. We're gonna go ahead and dump six whole sticks right in there. And the last thing we gotta do is put in the uh, the ground nutmeg. I like to put in a good healthy teaspoon anyway. You can put in whatever the hell you want. And that's it. We're going to bring that to a boil. What I do is I let it boil. Get out the old wooden spoon. I get it to a good rolling boil. Let me get down here. And uh, I let it boil for about two, three minutes anyway. And then I turn it down to a nice good simmer. And I let it simmer for about an hour, hour and a half. And that's about it. We'll give this a quick stir for now. Get that sugar all mixed up down there. And we'll let the stove do its thing. And then once that's done, you're going to want to shut down the heat and let it cool down. You don't want to add the alcohol into it until it's come down quite a bit, maybe 120 degrees or so, something like that anyway. That way the alcohol don't evaporate out of it. Fuck you, I'm drunk. Fuck you, I'm drunk. Then you put it in the refrigerator for a while and just let it set. And don't drink it until the next day until she's good and cold. And you're going to want to shake it up every time. A lot of times what I do is I'll filter the whole thing through some cheesecloth and get all the shit out of it that's on the bottom. And that's it. Drink it and enjoy. I hope this helped. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, as always.